reality is coming. There's there's levels to this thing, and that's just life. We all went through it. Of course. Um, and you see it on the NBA side, and you're gonna see. Caitlin Clark just told Diana Taurasi to suck it. Do you recall when Taurasi told Clark that he needs a reality check? Well, who taught who a lesson then? Clark just notched her second triple double of the season, and now everyone's asking, can this newcomer in the game really be as good as he is portraying himself to be? Caitlin Clark, who is a rookie, has done her second triple double in one of the most dramatic performances one can imagine. Before we start, however, there is something that I would like to request from all of you. If you like this content, please remember to like this video and also subscribe to the channel. Do you know the fact that 98% of YouTube viewers, for instance, do not subscribe? There is no investment on your part, yet it has a great impact on our side. Oh, come on. Go on and hit that subscribe button. Perfect. You're welcome so much. Now let us go back to the action. Sometimes it is is good to break the mold and talk about it. This is not common in WNBA, and even less so to have a rookie achieve this feat not once, but twice. That is precisely what Caitlin Clark has just done, and the noise that has been generated is quite genuine. The best part? She's just getting started. This was not the first time she recorded her second triple-double, and as other teammates congratulated her with high fives. Take a listen to what Clark had to say after the game. It's clear her latest performance was nothing short of spectacular. There was one player who had 24 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. She is a flame and we are witnessing her burn and it's something we fully support. That is not only good, but that is historically good. This is a performance that has only been achieved by another rookie in WNBA history once. Here's this young woman, Caitlin Clark, who is not just playing the game, but rewriting it. But that is not all, folks. It gets even weirder. Thus, with this latest triple-double, Clark has done what only 99, 63% of all WNBA players have never done. Wait for it. We are witnessing a raw talent who has already proved that she is an asset to the team and has performed better than most players that have graced the WNBA courts. It's like one day she was just born with the knowledge and the next she is a super. Star. And here's something that'll blow your mind. Clark has now recorded multiple career triple doubles, which makes her the sixth player in the WNBA history to do so. Combining the points she gets alone and the points which she helps her teammates to score is 45 points per game, which is the highest by any player. Wait for it, lets that sink in too. She has really developed well, and she's ensuring that other players are included. She is always looking for the open player. Here she is now ranked sixth in the history of the WNBA for multiple triple doubles and she is just a rookie. It is not simply the arithmetic of the situation. She is achieving all of this with such apparent ease. What is rather fascinating is how Caitlin Clark is dealing with the pressure. They are all looking at her, waiting for her to mess up, to make a mistake of a freshman. But rather than that, she is out there performing as if she has been in the league for several seasons now. It's as if she becomes even more addicted to the fame she gets, using that fame as the motivation to do even better. Let's break it down. It is important to note that Triple doubles in the WNBA are rare. Many gamers do not even have a single one in their whole career. And here's Clark just making it look easy and getting her second one in her first year. That is not only impressive, but revolutionary. But as usual, it's not only the numbers that count. In short, it is about how Clark is innovating. Not only is she living up to the expectations that are set for her, she is exceeding all of them every time she plays on the court. It's like she's throwing down a challenge to the rest of the league. This is the new standard. Keep up if you can, which indicates that there is no turning back. And as Clark keeps on writing history, a particular preseason prophecy is slowly becoming a reality to one of the league's high rollers. Do you recall when Diana Taurasi said that Caitlin Clark would be in for a reality check when she got to the WNBA? Well, it looks like the only reality that is checked here is Taurasi's. Clark isn't just learning how to play in the pro ranks. She's shaping what the pro ranks look like. At the same time, Taurasi sits on the bench and looks how her words lead to the complete opposite opposite effect. Not only is Clark playing well, she is making some of the more experienced players look like they are greenhorns. 20 or more points and 10 or more assists in 7 games in just 34 games played. This is not rookie level, this is superstar level. But let's mention Diana Taurasi. That is a feat she has only done 9 times in her 519 game career. It doesn't take a mathematics professor to figure out who is leading here. However, it is not all the time about the numbers, it's about the impact. Caitlin Clark is 
not just playing the game whenever she is on the court, she is transforming it. Clark is one of the few people who have the gift of making those around them become better people. And the fans, they're absolutely loving it and they are enjoying every single moment of it. Clark clips are going viral on social media, while Tarasi's remarks are now the joke of the day that she didn't intend to make. What's really quite extraordinary though, is that Clark isn't only achieving what is expected of her, she is in fact setting new standards. In every game she's coming up with new records and setting them to higher levels. But it's not just the freshers facing the problem of how to survive the ordeal. Other veterans such as Tarasi are now witnessing this young talent perform things that they have not seen before. It is like Clark is not only a late bloomer but might as well be a prodigy because he managed to avoid the whole process of learning and just create the new rules. So what happened to the reaction to Tarasi's remarks? It's been intense. People are having a field day laughing at her reality check which she predicted would happen. It is like watching basketball's prophecy coming to life only to fail at the same time. Tarazi said reality is coming and boy did it only not the way she wanted it to. She felt that Clark would go through all the hardships that people face in their lives but that Caitlyn is a different kind of player. As for Tarasi's speech, it was rather unfortunate that her words did not look quite as appealing in the future. Looks like the only one who is to get one is Tarasi herself. Anyway, Tarasi lost to an 18-year-old girl, isn't it humiliating for her? But let me be very honest, Diana Tarasi is still one of the best players of the world. Clark is going to be up against grown women who have been playing basketball professionally for years, and she is right. Yet here's the thing, it is not only the one veteran who has to eat her words, it is a narrative of change in the women's basketball. Clark's reign is changing the dynamics of the game and everybody is on their toes to see what can be achieved within the WNBA. She is not just good for a rookie, she is just good and that is it. And that is rather a frightening prospect for anyone who has been the best in their field for a number of years. As if out of nowhere there is this newcomer who is not only playing catch up but is actually leading the game. Tarazi has to be thinking something at this point in time and whatever that is, it must be crazy. Is she impressed? Intimidated? Perhaps a little of both is the reason. Let's be honest here, Clark is not just living up to the expectations people have set for him. She is coming up with an even higher magnitude of it. She is taking Tarasi's so-called reality check and making it a call to action for the entire league. There are some players who transform the game in some way or the other. Caitlin Clark? It's not that she is changing it, she is redefining it. Tarasi might have underestimated her, but now everyone is starting to realize. In fact, Clark is not waiting to be great she already is. That's because she is resetting the entire strategy. Others have even begun comparing him with NBA greats such as Larry Bird and the current Golden State Warriors point guard Steph Curry. But here's the real question. Is Caitlin Clark going to begin the revolution in women's basketball? Consider it for a minute. She is not playing as if she is a rookie. It seems like she has been in the league for quite some time. This is how she is playing. But that's not all. It's how she is doing it. Clark has that X factor, that special quality to make everyone around her better. It is almost as if she has basketball powers. And here's where things get really wild. If Clark is this good, she must be rookie of the year material, but what if she's MVP material in her first year? Sounds crazy, right? But what she is doing now is making it possible for her to achieve anything she wants. It's not as if she is merely matching the veterans, she is leading the way. Now let's look at what kind of player she is. You know how Larry Bird was a triple threat on the court. He could score, he could rebound, and he could pass. That is why Clark has the same versatility. She is not only a shooter or a distributor, but a player that possesses it all. And then there's her shooting. It feels as if you are watching Steph Curry playing for the WNBA. She has a really good asterisk range asterisk and isn't shy about showing it either. But it is not only about how she can play, it is about what her victory represents for the WNBA and women's basketball. Clark's not only setting new records, but she is asterisk shaping perceptions asterisk. They say you can't come into the league and do well from the very first game, and she's proving it right. Well, that is asterisk massive asterisk for the league. As for the ripple effect, there are more fans watching, more young girls who want to grab a basketball. 